Previously on Love Island, things got heated between Codell and Allegra, and it all got a bit steamy when Tim got a new nickname. Tonight, who will win the first date outside the villa? Well, in this episode, uh, we're going to be spilling all kinds of tea, sis. And you know what goes great with tea? Crumpets. No, Honey. Honey is a free internet shopping tool that automatically searches all the best promo codes when you're shopping online. Honey's great because they do all the hard work for you. Here I am shopping for a delicious gamer pie, and they do me the solid of finding me a little coupon. And the best part is it works with just the click of a button. Here I am shopping for my favorite G Fuel, Phaseberry, and look how much money I'm saving. Just one click. Look at that. It's insane. It only takes two clicks to install, not three. Two. Head on over to joinhoney.com slash noel. You know, the average person saves $30. 30 $30. So what are you waiting for, gamers? Head on over to joinhoney.com slash noel. Start saving some money on your precious G Fuel so you can stay focused while you game and keep your bank account healthy. Here we go, everybody. Episode 7. Episode 7. Lucky number 7. So you know what that means. Seven minutes in heaven. With none other than my dad. What? What? <laughs> Let's, okay. Here's to hoping this shit happens, man. Yeah, I know. Here's to hoping. We've been getting blue balled <laughs> pretty badly. I'm tired of waiting. Down at the gym, Jake's pumping iron. You know, in the last episode, what we didn't read was he had a poem. We could have paid to read his poem. No way. Yeah. Damn. Would have been. So he's like, I don't get it. He's like pumping iron, but yeah, he's like got an emotional side. Yeah. Dream guy, kind of seems like. Or what if it was just like some cold ass spoken word? <laughs> just like a, like he's another rapper, another rapper in the villa. Slam poetry. Yeah, slam poetry. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> People just see me as this guy that pumps iron. Yeah, stop. I'm gonna stop you right there. We're good. We're good. <laughs> While Tim or Big T is looking at the pull up bar. Oh, they're gonna clown him like that? Wow. <laughs> he's looking at it because he can't reach yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, do me a favor, bruv. Lift me up. Lift me up, bruv. I want to get some reps in. Grab me by the waist. Appreciate it. All right, now I'm going to come down, and what I'm going to need you to do is lift me back up, Jake. All right, could you do that for me, please? All right, Big T. Who works out in this Dracula-ass <laughs> shit right here? My man's stomach looking like a fucking stack of Hawaiian rolls. Don't be too fucking proud of yourself, bud. No, that's a packet of hamburger buns right yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. What's with our shit look? She's <laughs> unimpressed. Unimpressed. Also, when do we get so tan? <laughs> Bro, working out with your collar pop, that's the new shit, man. <laughs> Just that's fucking so dope. <laughs> I wish collar popping was still a thing. I mean Remember how dope that was in like the nineties? Yeah, I, just, I don't remember the dope part though. <laughs> no, that's sick. <laughs> I got oh, dicks! The Islanders come running, lot like seagulls to a bag of chips. What's with this fucking the frame rate is like higher? <laughs> This is fucking me up. It's like high quality. I got some Gaussian blur back yeah, here. Yeah. It's like a, kind of like a, it's like a graphic novel now all of a sudden. Hey, who said we aren't gamers, dude? This is this is an intensely graphical game, all right? Islanders, you've been in the villa for a whole day. It's time to find out who's been paying attention and who's just been chancing it. Girls, head to the beach up. Boys, go to the bathroom. Erica and Tim, head to the pool. All will be revealed. Hashtag getting intimate. Hashtag mystery quiz. Ooh. Mystery quiz? What do you is think? Is this an STD test? <laughs> Everyone's like, uh. <laughs> I'm sick all of a sudden, I can't. A challenge, amazing. This dude dresses like a toddler. <laughs> just little fucking baby shorts. <laughs> oh, it's such a toddler thing, dude, just to walk around in diaper and <laughs> yeah, shirt. Yeah, fucking... This is Dick they, in the patch they, notes. They buffed his cock. Yeah, dude. they definitely buffed it, dude. Yeah. God damn it, Fortnite, can't get away. <laughs> the boys head off towards the bedroom. You can hear Levi giving them a pep talk as they go. All right, guys, listen. I have a bag of fake piss. We, <laughs> if one of us straps it on, maybe we could piss in all of the containers and then we'll, be, we'll all be clean. On a chair in the beach up are five pieces of paper, one for each go. Here, Codel, this one's yours. Joan hands you a paper and a pin. It's got questions on it. First question, am I a summer person or a winter person? Nobody, nobody in this show is a winter person. Why yeah. would you ever want to cover up the bodies that are in this show? Second question, do I prefer gin and tonic or vodka and energy drink. 
Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. Gin and tonic. <laughs> you don't drink a gin and tonic in a leopard swimsuit. Come on. You drink a gin and tonic when you have like a leopard dead on the floor. <laughs> Finally, the third question. Would I take someone home on my first date? Uh, I, do we want to seem like a sloozy? No, no, no. no. Play no, cool, play no. cool, play cool. No, I'm a classy lady. The other girls are answering their questions. They all seem to be different. Girls, please go to the swimming pool where you will find a boys waiting. Sit on the edge of the pool opposite your partner. The islanders gather by the pool. Boys down on one side, girls down on the other. Dude, I'm, I'm kind of nervous for this. <laughs> Shit. How do my boobs look? <laughs> it's like a school disco, but with more splashing and less acne. And here to judge on Love Ireland's very own PTA, it's Erica and Tim. So basically we have to guess uh, which answer our partner actually gave, right? Okay. The couple with the most correct answers wins a prize, a date night, outside the villa, simple, simple as that. that. <laughs> All right, let's try one for Miles. When asked, are you a summer person or a winter person? What answer did Codell give? Oh, that's easy. She's a winter person. You fucking idiot! <laughs> Colossal dumbass. Colossal moron! <laughs> Who the fuck in Love Island is a winter person? Yeah, it's true. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. They le they wear the least amount of clothes possible. All right, mate. Why'd you say that? Because she's got a frosty attitude, not a warm one, like a summer person would have. That's actually the wrong answer. Oh, is it? Well, whatever. Well, whatever. Oh, look at that shitty grin. Yeah. That shitty grin. Well, whatever. The other couples do much better than you. Jen and Levi both get the questions right. After a while, it's your turn again. Can guys and girls ever be just friends? What do you think he said? <laughs> he definitely said no. He said no. He said no. Dumb asshole. But I feel like the game's gonna fuck us. It's, it's gonna... The right answer is gonna be yes. You I think so? I still wanna go no to like neg him. Yeah, 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 let's diss him diss a little him bit. Back. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Oh, oh! <laughs> Shameless. Oh. Shameless. Take dude. it to the head, Miles. Shameless. Do you really think that, Miles? That's horrible. Shut up, Jen. Get out of here. It's just not true. Oh, here yeah, here we go. Pickup artist. Oh, uh, it's just natural. Men and women, there'll always be something in the way. It's just biological. You always want to fuck, you know what I mean? It's just how we're hardwired as a species. And that's the part where you have to retrain your brains, okay, scouts? You gotta understand that women want to do it too. <laughs> now you're just a stupid misogynist. <laughs> that's creepy, damn. She's twisted up, man. A messy <laughs> gymnast, what? He's like, that's my new rap name. Messy gymnast? They're right, Miles. It's a really disrespectful attitude. Well, they realized I was on trial. Oh shit, he's about to go. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was with a bunch of fucking betas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next question. They rattle around the group until they get to Miles again. Okay, Miles, you're in the spotlight again. <laughs> Do you think women and men should have equal rights? <laughs> Um, well, if you look- <laughs> When asked gin and tonic or vodka and energy drink, which answer did Kodal give? Well, Kodal's a pretty classy girl, so I'm gonna go with gin and tonic. You idiot! That's the wrong answer again. Uh, come on! <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, Kodal, it's your turn again. <laughs> we asked, have you slept with more than 200 people? What answer did, did Miles give? It has to be yeah, yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be yes. Yeah. Also, what a fucking absurd number. <laughs> what if we go yes, and he's like, wrong. <laughs> I've slept with three. Trash. Trash. Men are trash. Unbelievable. Pig. Sleep with over 200 people? <laughs> what, what is that? Like, that's, that's like fucking... That's one every week for four years, right? So every, for four, for the last four years, on average, he's been fucking one girl a week. Kinda sad. No, that's fucked up. Kinda that's, savage. That's kind. No, that's fucked up. That's fucked. We can't say that. <laughs> kinda savage. I mean, no. that's unbelievable. Well, not really. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he's about to do the math now. Oh wow. 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 I'm just really. Conf I'm like kind of weirded out that I just did that and like I just predicted, predicted Dude, this. Dude, we're very predictable people. We're not like smart. I guess. This game, this is how <laughs> dumb we are. This game, they can they can predict what we're gonna say. Uh, or, man, or it's listening. Or, or, that's all I'm saying. Would you mind not doing the numbers on my love life? Thanks. No, no, Miles, you know what? No, I do mind. Because if you're gonna throw out a fucking number like 200 <laughs> people, I'm gonna do the goddamn math on that. Cause it just doesn't even seem realistic. Such a liar thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guy, guy, we don't have to, we don't have to 
It's not getting to like the logistics. Just okay. Of it or just I, it's I like, fucked six hundred people. No big fucking deal. Never. We don't have to. We don't it's have like, to count. It's it's not like one person a week. It's like sometimes it's five a day, and then other times I go like a month with that. It's just like. You it's know, just when I feel place, like it, dude. Yeah. But if you're seeing that many people, you can't have, like, just one girlfriend for any of that time. Right, you have 200 girlfriends. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is my chance to finally settle down and leave my way with life behind me. I bet with all that experience, it's really good in bit. Talia splashes water at her. Erica enters the final round of questions. Jen and Levi are obviously the best at this. They reach Miles again. So, Miles, maybe you get this one right. Would Kodo take someone out on a first date? If she actually went... On a date with someone, it means she's looking for a relationship rather than a one night stand. And I think you're going to prefer to get to know them properly rather than rushing it. So the answer is no. He's like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fuck, see? <laughs> I ruled this game. One out of three, dude, but it's, I got the most important one, so. <laughs> it's pretty much like a C, like a 70%. <laughs> And that's the end of the challenge. The winners are Levi and Jen. You two win a date outside of Villa this evening. Well, I'm, I'm glad we didn't win that because yeah. we definitely don't want to go on the date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to we'll have to see what happens next. I'm trying to make some progress with someone else. Talia or not, Yeah. we need to start cracking on because yeah. right now we're kind of playing defense. Yeah. We need to be playing offense. Yeah, I, I want to I go in. Mm -hmm. I want to harden the taint paint. Yeah, harden. <laughs> I'm gonna go harden the tank, yeah. the pain. <laughs> Coming up next on Love Island, Kaudo over here something. She's talking about me. And things come to a head with Miles. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. Wow, we are so excited, we can, we can hardly, hardly contain, contain ourselves. ourselves. Look at this next episode, Throwing Shade. Oh. Spilling some uh, tea on that. Yep. And you know what goes great with tea? Honey. honey. Big shout out to Honey for sponsoring this video. Uh, when you're seeing this, we'll be a few days out from going on tour, so... This next episode, if we do one, we'll be on the tour bus. Uh, that'll so, be a fun one, actually. Yeah, we yeah. should make that a fun one. Yeah, that that'll be cool. Um, so yeah, we'll see you all on the road. Very excited for the shows. Thanks so much for watching. See you next Peace. time on episode eight. I'm a boss, bitch. I don't do no clocking. Do no clocking. You say you run running shit, boy. You just walking. Yeah. Top dog, down line, guess it poppin'. Guess it poppin'. I don't put the fucking game.